Hello everyone, welcome to new tutorial of SparkGAD. Today in this video we are going to learn how to use camera distance feature in SparkGAD studio to create virtual fence for social distancing as in the video. And discuss how we can use it to trigger audio and animation. In this filter, we are using plane as an indicator, which turns green if distance is greater than 2 meter, otherwise it turns into red color, and emits corona particles. You can use emitter as your requirement, such as awareness texture or other image sequences or audio effects. Let's start by creating new file. Now we'll arrange required asset for our project. Add face tracker to the scene. Then add plane. Position it. and rename it as indicator add material and rename it to Change setter type to flat. Then add emitter to the scene. Particle system and press insert. Position the emitter. Position it here. Now we need to change the properties of emitter. So go to inspector section, change the type to plane, we will decrease both rate to 5. Increase is spread it decrease the speed to zero point one. Now further we can change properties of this particle by going to this particle section. You can increase the scale of particle here by changing any scale section you can see the size increase life is fine you can change this value according to your requirement go to material section add material for emitter rename it as emitter and change set a type to flat I have prepared texture for this emitter we'll be adding that in material I'll provide link to all my texture and asset in my Gumroad. You can find it in description. Now go to material and change texture to virus. 
next we will be preparing for patch editor go to view and click show add patch editor but before that we will be discussing about patch we will be using in this filter first one is camera distance this patch mainly calculate distance between camera and object in the scene along x y and z axis for example if i add any object from scene such as plane or any 3d model then if i connect it to camera distance then it provide output in numbers which will be in meters it gives best result with 3d model or world effect but currently we have to move 3d object in world effect other patches are math patches from that we will be using add and multiply patch we use add and multiply patch to multiply or add two values for example you can put two values and it provides output of multiplication of these two values and similarly we can add two values and add both and provide output from here next patch we use here is clamp patch it gives value between maximum and minimum value and we will be discussing about logic patches which we will be discussing while connecting these patches so let's start connecting these patches at first connect indicator to object then take distance to first value and multiply these two value and take output to add now we'll take this output to clamp and provide minimum value as 2 and maximum value as 5 change this value at add as 2 then add equals then add second number as 3.5 and tolerance as 0 0.5 now it will allow us to allow 0 0.5 tolerance between first number and second number then add if then else and change number to color set green and then and we'll add red as default condition then go to indicator material section and add patch from texture and connect it to indicator now go to equals and add not patch it will reverse signal then go to emitter and add visual patch let's test it it is working well now if you like to add or edit this plane you can add another plane also simply go to indicator and add plane resize plane position it a bit 
forward and rename it as inner plane then add new material go to add asset and add animation sequence I'll rename it as distance here here I have prepared animation sequence or image sequence for this plane go to choose file and select rename material is inner plane then select texture as distance and go to distance and change fps to 1 and change stereotype to flat you can use frame transaction and use it as your requirement but we will leave it as it is now simply copy this not get and paste it then go to inner plane and create patch from busy one and connect it now when this indicator turns to green this inner plane will be invisible and when it is in red signal then we'll be able to see this inner plane you too can add audio with it go to library then add any tone from here or you can add from outside also will be adding notification tone here simply go to this section and click import free I have already imported after you import it will appear here then go to add asset and create audio playback control and rename it as warning tone Go to here and select audio as your recent audio. Go to scene and add speaker. And insert it. I have already inserted it. I have already inserted it. Now go to audio section. And select warning tone. Now go to equals and bring not get. Then go to warning tone and create patch from play and connect it here. Then tick loop if you want to play audio in repeat mode. Now we'll be testing it. Finally, we are at the end of our tutorial. If you like my tutorial, please like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.